What is up guys? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Pisces Zodiac sign. Uh, we're doing a love reading for you guys. I bought a new deck of cards just for you guys to do love readings for. Modern Love Tarot. To add to my collection of course. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive right in and get the overall energy with the Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. Clarify the energy of Pisces. Third Eye Chakra. Clarify the energy of Pisces. So Pisces, what I'm getting off the top is you're very spiritually awakened here, okay? You know things are going on around you. You know things that are happening. Uh, we have the seat card, which is like the hermit energy. So you're at peace with yourself here or you're finding your peace here after a situation, okay? Or finding ways to really be spiritually in tune with yourself, listening to your intuition, listening to your guides, uh, we do have number two coming together here, okay? So you could be uh, coming together with someone that you feel has been sent in your life for a reason, okay? Or that you've been manifesting as well. You could, um, you, you could have actually foreseen them in your dreams. Base chakra number one coming out here. This person, um, you're wanting to create something from the ground up with this person here with the base chakra. Okay, so building a stable foundation with this person and creating, um, that's too many, I can't take that many. Creating a, um, a long-term commitment with someone here. Let's see. And let's do one more. Any other messages for Pisces? But of course, we're going to dive right in and see. We're going to clarify, clarify any other cards for Pisces. That's too many, Spirit. They keep giving me a whole bunch. We have release and then success and growth, number 13 and number 8. So you're releasing and letting go of some situations, things that have been heavy on your chest. And then you're really uh, moving forward here. You're really planting the seed to grow something very successful here. So, so with it being the relationship, again, you're building the foundation with the base chakra. Let's go ahead and pull from the modern love tarot. Clarify the third eye chakra for Pisces. Clarify the third eye chakra for Pisces. Guys, these cards are so beautiful. Clarify the third eye chakra for Pisces. Clarify the third eye chakra for Pisces. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning here for you, okay? Ace of Pentacles with this third eye chakra. You've been, I feel like you've been manifesting it, but you've also been expecting this um, situation to come because you're being very in tune with yourself here. You, It's like you know about this beginning here. Clarify the seat card here. The Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. This, the C card and then the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, Pisces, is, I'm getting the energy of you've had your fair share of good times, okay? You've had your fair share of good times, but I feel like you are ready to kind of settle down now. It's like, okay, you know, I've been out there, I've been around, I've been, you know, active with some people, that type of energy. I've had my fun, I've done my play. Okay, now it's time for me to take those skeletons, throw them in the closet, and now it's time for me to settle down. Okay, I'm not out here living my best life anymore here with the seat card. Like, you're going through, it's, um, to me it's like a, either a spiritual awakening or just like a, a, an energy of realizing that you're ready to settle down. Like you're ready to build something with someone, not you don't want this in and out energy that you once had or you weren't once were. OK, because not all of you are like that, but um, not that it's a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's the energy of I want to I want to open up to someone. I want to be open to someone instead of being closed off and and just kind of like friends with benefits type of thing you know very in and out energy and i don't want to be dealing with someone that's going to be in and out in my life as well someone that's not going to be here for the long run okay um yeah seven of wands look at you standing up for yourself okay De putting your guard up defending yourself you know look i'm not going to take 
any players anymore. I'm, I'm actually looking for something stable, something that's going to bring me long-term abundance and long-term success here with the Ace of Pentacles. You're manifesting it, okay? You're definitely manifesting it. So let's clarify these coming together. The Knight of Pentacles. So it's coming. It's taking its good old sweet old time, right? But I don't feel like you're rushing it. You're allowing it to happen when it happens. You're saying, okay, if it's meant to be, it'll, it, it'll be, you know? If it's meant to be, it'll be. Eight of Pentacles is here. So it's like you kind of... It's like you're... You're ready for it. You're ready to invest in it. You're ready to build something with someone you're ready to be happy with someone eight of pentacles you're ready to you know be that 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 i mean look at the energy in this eight of pentacles how they're cuddled how they're comfortable with each other that's what you're looking for you're looking for that comfort and you've been patient with it you know knight of pentacles represents patience as well so if you're not patient you're going to have to be patient because it's it's taking its time it's meant to be you know divine uh, the divine is going to bring it at, bring it in when it's meant for it to come to you. So let's clarify the base chakra for Pisces. Let's clarify the base chakra for Pisces. Hold on, sign, please. Hold on, guys. I just dropped a card. Wait a minute. Here's two. And what is this? The Hierophant. Yeah, see? Exactly what I was saying. Knight of Swords, the Magician, and the Hierophant. So I do see... Okay, action being taken here, but I feel like this action is coming from what you've been manifesting. Like you're you're making this happen here. There could be someone coming forward wanting to say something or wanting to take action, or this could be you. This could be spirit's way of telling you you're going to have to take this action. You're going to have to make the forward movement instead of sitting off to the side and just not like when this person comes in with a conversation you may have to actually open up to them you know you may have to actually talk to them you can't just like sit to the side and look cute okay i'm also the message they just gave me is if you want it go after it i don't know who that's for but that's for some of you they're giving me the energy okay Thank you, Spirit. They're saying, stop sitting still. Somebody's sitting very still because it's Magician and the Hierophant. And they're just wanting me to let you know that you are capable of manifesting whatever your desires are. Whatever you um, give to Spirit, whatever messages and manifestations you're giving to Spirit, you can create those for your future here. Whether it's money Okay, whether it's money, whether it's home, whether it's a stable love relationship, whatever it is, you have the the power within your hands here to create this. And I'm sorry, guys, I keep yawning. You have the power in your hands to create this, but you have to be willing to take action and do the work. Is what they're giving me here. That's on the bottom. Seven of Wands on the bottom again. So you have to you have to stand up for yourself. They're they're also giving me for some of you, you're going to have to stop the um the players from coming in. For some reason, I feel like you you have a um you let your I don't want to say let your wall down cuz that's not going to come off too nice. It's you open you um you open your door to people that you know don't have um, long-term commitment in them, right? Okay, I'm trying to be careful with how I say it because I really don't want to offend, any, offend anybody. But they're saying that you you know you need to listen to your intuition. When your intuition is telling you something is off, believe it, okay? Trust your intuition because they're, they're, they're telling you when somebody's not for you. Right. They're telling you, hey, they're not for you. You have to be patient. You have to you have to just, you know, let it happen. Let it go with the flow. So they're just saying, let let this person. How can I put this? Because I really don't want to offend anybody. I'm just going to say it. OK, this is say it. OK, so with you doing the seven of wands, this is you standing up for yourself and saying, if somebody really wants to be with me, they're going to put the time and energy into it. Right. And that's how I know that somebody wants, wants me for me. 
the people that are coming in that's very hot and cold, that's like quick and fast, like coming in and out, coming in and out, you need to st stand up for them and you need to shut them off. I don't know if you still have a person that keeps coming back, like it could be a player that keeps coming back, keeps coming back, keeps coming back. And every single time you let them come back, they do the same thing and they end up leaving again. So you need to stand up to the person and say, no, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not going to be here preaching, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Clarify the release card for Pisces. See, the Justice and the Temperance. You need to release this person, whoever it is that keeps coming in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. This Knight of Wands here. Whoever, I mean, attractive, sexy, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that you like, it's like I'm getting that, oh, they just do something to me, right? I mean, they got the swag going on. Their swag is on point. They got. They always say the right things. They always do the right things. But at the end of the day, they don't stay with you. And they end up leaving again. So for some of you, you need to cut it off. Okay, you need to make the decision and cut it off. With the Justice card and the Temperance card being here. And focus on yourself, okay? Focus on yourself. Focus on your healing. Focus on what you want to manifest in your life. Because if you're allowing this energy to keep coming in and out with you here... And you're not putting the the energy and intentions of, I want something stable. I want I'm going to listen to my intuition. Okay, spirit told me not to trust them. You know, if you're if you're not listening to them, you're not going to get this this base chakra. You know, you have to start off with the the bottom. You have to build on this. So, you know, if you got a rock, if you got a foundation that you're trying to lay stable, and you let somebody come on it when it's wet, there's going to be footprints all on your foundation. Where did that come from? Thank you, Spirit, because that... <laughs> so, so if you let somebody, it's like you let somebody walk on wet cement that you've put all that work into. You've put all the, the smoothing and technique that you needed to, to make that cement smooth. And you let somebody just walk right in it. They're going to mess up your wet cement. So don't let somebody come in and mess up your foundation. I don't want to say someone. Don't let this person... This Knight of Wands, this little player, whoever you've been allowing to come in and out of your life to keep coming in and mess up what you're trying to build for yourself. Because if if you do, you're going to miss out on this person that's trying to take their time to come in here. Okay? All right. See? Judgment. Bottom of the deck. You have to make a decision to put an ending. Okay? To put an ending to this person. Bury this relationship. Bury this... I don't even want to say a relationship because it's not really a relationship. They keep going in and out. Bury this on and off again thing and rise up and get out of there, okay? And go start something new, right? You have someone reaching in ready to help you, you know? Go out there and start something new with somebody else. Again, we all have free will, but let me say this. We all have free will, so you can pick and choose what you want. But that's the um, messages and advice that Spirit has given me. Now, clarify success and growth for Pisces. Clarify success and growth for Pisces, please. Clarify success and growth. Yeah, Eight of Swords here. So you're stuck. Hmm. This person has you stuck. They're keeping you from your happiness here. Look at there. They're keeping you from this Knight of Cups energy to come in. This, this newfound energy. Someone that wants to build with you and create a lifestyle with you. As you can see, it's a, it's a husband and a wife and their kid, right? Knight of Cups. A brand new, a brand new relationship. Wanting to build and create a lifestyle. You're you being in your mental block. You're the only person holding yourself back. You're the only person holding yourself back from the success and growth of a good relationship because you're you're so stuck on this person or this person keeps coming in and confusing you. And all they're doing is they're messing this up for you here. Look at there. King of Wands. They're messing this up here. They got you sitting here, three of wands. They got you sitting here waiting, trying to figure out the map and trying to figure out where to go and when they're going to come in and, okay, are we really going to be this successful? Are we really going to do this? Okay. They enjoy your company, king of wands. They enjoy your company. Yeah, they enjoy your company. But guess what? When they're tired of being around you, they leave. They're not here for the, okay, I'm going to be there forever and ever. I'm not going anywhere. It's like, okay, when it's convenient for them, they come in and then they leave. So let's see. Any other messages for Pisces before I end this off? Any other messages for my Pisces? Any other messages for my Pisces? Ooh. Okay, hold on guys. That one just flung out. 
So the first card we have is this one here and it says wow only time will tell only time will tell again patience knight of pentacles is a very is the slowest knight out of the deck so this new opportunity coming in for you the stability that's coming in for you is is taking its time because they have the spirit has to know the divine has to know that you're ready and right now you're not ready because you're still this person keeps coming in and keeps giving you this confusion of oh yes I do want this this success and growth I do want this this long term relationship but then at the end of the day they turn around and leave right out so and then we also have this card here it says forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so again remember I just told you you have to manifest what you want in your life here if you want this, you got to do the work. You got to do the work by cutting off people, by cutting off things that you don't want in your life, as in um, instability, okay? Somebody that's in and out, hot and cold energy in your life. You have to do take the first step and cut that out, okay? And then, of course, we're going to end you off with your divine door message. So, any other message? <laughs> Look at this steel door. You've been it's it, you feel like you've been behind the steel door this entire time and it's finally opening for you. And look at here it says a cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. So sometimes you have to choose to let go of someone in order to receive what you deserve. Okay? Sometimes you're going to have to be bold, strong, confident, and sometimes you have to cut people off that you thought, you know, you really wanted. But in the end, you were just blocking the passage for something very stable to come in for your life. For, I mean, you, you kept going back to inconsistency when you have stability wanting to come in. But you have to be pre prepared for it, okay? This is your opportunity to do that. So, uh, yeah, this is your reading, Pisces. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. I do appreciate you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.